Hello, I am Gary Brantner of Rent Arb Studios Comics, and this is the show where I talk about the comic books I've read, Kickstarters I've backed, and where you can find these Kickstarters and comics that I've read, and uh, all that fun stuff. So, I haven't been reading anything lately. I've been kind of uh, just binge-watching some HBO stuff, because I don't know how long I'm going to have it. And so I'm trying to get through as much of the shows like Titan and Harley Quinn. Doom Patrol is what I'm on right now. And, uh, yeah, all those fun things. So uh, bear with me while I don't read any comics for a while. And uh, But tonight I am going to be reading, by the time I get to Dallas, 1 and 2. And The Trinity Project, a branch off of it. Um, because there is a Kickstarter going right now for... Uh, this and so I want to read it and that way I could better let you know about the Kickstarter and uh, Vampire Bloodlines I have it, it's a little bit smaller than a comic but it's pretty cool uh, so I'm going to read this and then I will let you know about the Kickstarter so since I don't have any comics to tell you about um, I'm going to tell you about what I got in my mailbox this week or lately. Um, so I finally did get Half Past Danger, the Christmas special, and I got the cool print that comes with it. That's pretty awesome. Um, let's see, yeah. So I was kind of hoping I would have got this last month since it's now January and this is a Christmas special, but either or, I'll throw it in the read pile and uh, maybe it'll be Christmas by the time I get to it next year. Um, we'll see. And I also got in a book called Crossing. This is Crossing number five of six. Crossing five of six. Um, and it comes with this sign. That'll be kind of cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty thick. It's like one of those that you hang up in your car, whatnots. And it came with a bunch of stickers and stuff. This is a magnet of Crossing. So that'll be cool. Throw that up on my uh, tin, whatchamacallit got some stickers here. This one is the sticker of the main character who is a ghost. And here are some other stickers of the the engineer that is haunted and the ghost that haunts him and some word balloons and the little crossing thing. So that'll be cool. Uh, they came in an envelope that says uh, enclosed are your Kickstarter rewards st stickers and whatnot. It's a thank you pretty cool that way to do it. Let's print on the uh, envelopes. So yeah, um, I like stickers. So I'm actually going to try a thing where I uh, put the stickers on the box on on the uh, comic book box that the comics are in. So that'll be cool to do with those. So there's crossing. Um, next I got in my list is standstill one through four. Uh, I've already read one and two but I decided to back it to get the whole set and uh, there's a cool foil print with it so those are awesome it's a horror story where uh, there's a pandemic of uh, instead of people getting sick they actually just stop moving they stand still and uh, all the things that happen to those people you know you can you understand if a few people are not standing still what happens to the ones that are standing still based on the people that are around them that can move around and stuff. Crazy stuff, but that's going into my read pile soon. And here I have Minx, Cyberpunk. It is it is from Be Amazed Studios. Uh, I, I backed this one a good while ago. Finally got it. It's got a lot of stickers and collector cards and stuff with it too, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, that'll be cool to stick on that comic book box I told you about. Oh, and here's a print that'll be going up in this wall behind me. So that's cool. Cyberpunk Minx. And this is issue one. I don't don't know if the, what the plans are for the next issues. Here's Delilah Blast, number one. It actually came with uh, Babylon Working 1 and 2 that I backed. So those are some cool stuff. Oh yeah, and it came with a print with uh, Morgan Le Fay on it here. So that's cool, um, because I did I backed Le Fay, and I also backed Babylon Working, so that's cool that it came together. 
Yes. Um, so those are going into the reed pile. The reason it came with uh, a Lafay print is because it is from some of the same creators as Lafay. Uh, Marcel Dupree or uh, Metzger, Joshua Metzger, I'm not sure which one. Maybe they both work on it, on the uh, Lafay. So that is the end of my mailbox. Now I'm going to tell you about Kickstarters because some of these are ending soon and you should know about them. So one that's ending tomorrow on January 23rd is Make 100 Painkiller Jane. It is a print and book bundle. So you could get two trade paperbacks of Painkiller Jane. One is The Price of Freedom and the other is 22 Brides. Two uh, Painkiller Janes and a print. So that'll be a cool one to get. Uh, I'm interested in it. The creators, uh, Jimmy Pal Palmiotti, uh, did the uh, Pop Kill comic that I've been reading and um, some Harley Quinns that you guys might know who that is. And uh, yeah, Amanda Connor is the artist on that. Pretty cool stuff. Um, so check out Painkiller Jane. Print and book bundle, make 100. That's a Kickstarter thing where they only make 100 of them. So if they reach 100, sorry, if you're the 101st person, you're out of luck. But that ends tomorrow on January 23rd. Check that one out. And uh, Miss Katana Kai meets Lovecraft PI ends on January 29th. That is coming up soon. Let's see, 22nd. So that is in about seven days. You have a week to back Lovecraft PI meets Miskatonic High. Um, I'm a big fan of Miskatonic and so I've got the uh, I've got the uh, Lovecraft PI books that where they meet. Um, blah. Anyway, uh, so I was so interested in what's going on here that I went to uh, the Lovecraft PI in Etsy shop and I ordered two trades of Lovecraft PI to check out and uh, they're in my read pile though I haven't checked them out yet but it'll be cool to see where that's going here's Vampire Bloodlines number two that is the uh, sequel to the next issue in this run so I'm checking that out uh, Ivy Cosplayer uh, on Twitter does one of the covers she does a cosplay cover of this Vampire Bloodlines number two so that'll be cool to check out I've seen some of the pictures on my Twitter feed. Really cool stuff. So I'm going to be reading this tonight to uh, get a feel for it and uh, it's a fellow Kablam person. They print through Kablam printing and so I'm, I definitely want to read that, check it out, back it if I can. I haven't backed it yet but we'll see where that goes after I read it. Um, and by the time I get to Dallas, that's the other one I'm going to read tonight. But this is, uh, by the time I get to Dallas, Make 100 print. Uh, and so there, this is the uh, collector's edition. It's going to have script pages in it and uh, penciled pages. 140 pages of uh, behind the scenes stuff. So that would be cool to, if you're into uh, how they make comics and want to see how this person makes his comics. Another one, that one's on uh, Kickstarter till February 4th. Sorry, I forgot the date. Here's one that's on Kickstarter till February 4th. It is Switchblade Stories number two. It is a 28 page with retro art by Chris Askham. He's doing it all, writing and art. And uh, it is, in his own words, a retro romance girl gang grindhouse comic bonanza. And it looks beautiful. Uh, it is pretty cool. It's, it's a love story. Um, and the art looks amazing. Uh, check that one out. It is on Kickstarter till February 4th. Cult Heroes is about, it is by uh, Raymond, I think. Uh, I just have the Twitter handle on here, sorry. It's okay, Raymond. Um, the skies are crowded with people in capes, and Cult he Hero and Razorblade, Mary, are on a spree of eliminating these heroes and it is 24 pages it's a mature reader obviously with the violence but probably with other stuff in there too it is it looks beautiful it's uh it's a jack kirby mixed with david mack art so if you're if you know david mack art or jack kirby and you wonder what they would look like mixed together 
check this guy out. It is Cult Heroes on Kickstarter till February 13th. It looks awesome, and uh, I'm a backer of that one. Can't wait to get it. The art looks awesome. Um, it is from the same guy that uh, he did a shotgun, shotgun full of roses Kickstarter that uh, did not complete, but so uh, I'm trying to back him on this one. Hopefully this one does complete, and I want that. So back it so I can get it too. Fractured Shards is a 48 perfect bound book. It's not safe for work. It is adult themed and it is from an actor from Spartacus which I haven't watched but uh, all that fun stuff. Um, let's see here. In a dystopian future the world is separated into the lights is a paradise and the district which is the slums of the future and uh, a detective vitro has to work on both sides of it to solve this case. Um, yeah. So, check out Fractured Shards on Kickstarter till February 1st. Adventures of Laura Rowe is a not safe for work sci-fi romance uh, sexy book and it is by Jen, it is being drawn by Jen Hickman. It is 28 pages and Technically, that's all you had to say. It's by Jen Hickman, and uh, it's sexy romance stuff. Uh, so I'm backing that one. It is on Kickstarter till February 11th. 28 pages of really cool stuff. Live Forever is a vampire story. So you know me. I'm a sucker for vampire stories. And this one is from a creator. He is a Mexican creator that lives in Japan. And he is... He says that writing Live Forever helped the creator, is uh, Raul Trevino, it helped him cope with the loss of his brother. Um, and so if you are looking for a vampire story that uh, brims with friendships and grief and coping with those, then this is the story for you. Uh, check it out. It is, I think it's been released on Webtoons before this, so there is a chance you can find it there. Live Forever. It's on Kickstarter till February 3rd. It looks beautiful. It's black, white, and red art, and I'm in. Super Best Friend number one. It's by Jason Inman and uh, Greg Cam Cambadias, Taylor Esposito, and let's see. So, yeah. Super Best Friend number one. It's It's we're living in an age where everything seems to be online. You're watching this online, right? Everything's documented by video feeds and whatnots. And, uh, yeah. Uh, so this, what happens when a superhero who his best friend documents all this stuff and uploads it to the YouTubes, uh, what if his secret identity accidentally gets out? What does he do then? Uh, and so his super best friend is trying his hardest to, uh, make up for accidentally letting his secret out and yeah that's really cool it's 48 pages it's from the Jupiter Jet creators and uh, you could also get Jupiter Jet through this campaign if you'd like to add it on and uh, you could even have an ad where they talk about your comic book on their geek history lesson show and I'm really tempted to do that it's 200 bucks I'll see if I can fit it in my budget and uh, yeah, Super Best Friend, number one, is on Kickstarter till February 18th. Check that one out. Temerity, number one, The Runaway, is, uh, well, I read the sample on Webtoons, and I it was freaking awesome. Uh, it's a space adventure. It's got that, uh, it's got aliens and all sorts of stuff. It is, yeah, it was an awesome read. Uh, so we, we have this huge ship, and it, and they uh, escape from being fired on and then they find out that there was a tag-along ship in their uh, wake or draft and so it went through the warp with them and they end up getting that person onto the ship but another group the huge kind of empire council kind of people they want this person that was tagging along on their ship it looks awesome it sounds awesome it was a, it was a great uh, preview read so I am all in and it's got art by Chad Harden. He's a Utah like me. And uh, 
Gemma Young. So, and who are, is also a Utahn. Um, so I'm all, I'm in for supporting Utah artists, and not to mention Chad Harden. He's freaking awesome. And so check out Temerity the Runaway on Kickstarter till February 11th. So that's all the Kickstarters I've got for today. And uh, as you know, I've been watching Doom Patrol. I'm halfway through season two of that now, and I just barely started Cobra Kai. It's pretty cool. I love how they've made uh, the bad guy of the movies into the hero of this show. And yeah, check out Geek History Lesson on your uh, on podcasts. I listen to it through Stitcher. And if you have any comics on Kickstarter, or if you have an independent comic you want me to know about, hit me up, send me a message, even tag me in uh, a post on your Twitter feed or Facebook feed. Tag Rentnarb, at Rentnarb, and uh, I will see it, and I'll give it a shout-out on my show. So, now that that's all out of the way, let me get all my comics cleaned up here, and I'm going to do some art. So let me put all this stuff over here. All my mailbox, all that fun stuff. We'll put those away later. Because now it is time to make some art. Whoop. And let's get it. Had to close the curtain because uh, it gets hard to see what I'm doing here. Okay. Sorry about this. I'm gonna put you over here. Let's see. There we go. So this is my little clipboard contraption. I made it so that I could turn it and stuff. As you can see, I've got a placemat here so that I don't scratch up my desk. All that fun stuff. And you could see what looks to be a inked page here. This is Peter Pan the Vampire. What page am I on? I think it's page 18. Yeah, a page 18. And I've decided to try something new. Um, I am going to make a layer in my computer of sh the shadows. And so that's what I'm doing today. All right. Oh no. There. And this is my uh, um, light box. It is basically just a tablet. So let me get some tape here. Tape this down. I've made, as you can see, I've made marks right here. Huh. Something's not right. There we go. Hmm, my marks aren't at matching up. How did that happen? All right, then let's just get it as good as we can. Tape it down. Wasting time here. There we go. Now, let's gray in some shadows here. Don't really know how much well this is going to be seen, but. I'm noticing this is coloring very, very lightly. Yeah. So, yeah, what I was planning on doing was having a shadow layer. And, uh,. Just because I've been taking too much time um, 
figuring out where the shadows go with my mouse and oh there we go it's darkening that's cool and so I wanted to try out a thing where it, I have a whole layer that's just set up for the shadows and all that fun stuff um yeah what else can I tell you about it just this is the first time I'm doing it, so I have no idea how it's going to work. I just hope it does. That would be really cool to uh, do something that makes it easier and faster to get my work done. So yeah, I think this is going to be pretty promising, actually. Uh, really interesting to see how this works out. I don't know if you can even see anything going on right now. I can see as it darkens, or as it dries, it gets darker. So we'll see how that works. Cool, okay. So, in this page I have, uh, this is Pele, tapping Peter Pan on the shoulder. She's made of lava, and whenever she turns into her lava self, her clothes burn off. So she's about running out of juice to stay warm, and uh, so she's got to turn back into her skin. And so she taps Peter on the shoulder to say, hey, um... Can you get me my clothes for me? It's time to, uh, I'm running out of juice and I need to get some clothes. So that's what this scene is. So I have Peter Pan, he's reaching into the shadows of his pockets to, when whenever he goes through a shadow, he opens up a portal to any shadow in the world and just so happens to be able to reach into the shadow of her closet and pull out her clothes from her closet and that's what I'm having going on here and I'm gonna have her in some uh, orange plaid kinda outfit thing going on so that'd be cool I have to throw a pattern into that later on we'll see where that goes alright let's see so this is fun um, when I get this scanned into the computer I will I will make a video of that as well so you can see what I do with these shadows. And let's see here, here we go. Got some Wendy over here. I made the mistake of uh, making her clothes argyle and so <laughs> That's always fun to have to draw over and over again. It's Argyle. Oh, here's Maui. It's kind of fun to just have a layer that's nothing but shadows. Hope this works out. Let's put this whole shadow in the art arm and shadow and uh, feathers because she's winged hopefully this all matches up later on there's Tinkerbell and yes here's our Pele she is behind a block of ice and being dressed over here so yeah. Okay, Wendy here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, 
Yeah, Peter. Whoops, I think I just went off the page. Well, I will have to clean that up later. Make it match up. There we go. So that's the end of that. When I uh, scan it into the computer, I will let you know how it looks. Ooh, I didn't know there was a brighter setting. I could have gone. And whoa, that's what it looks like now. Let's get some light on that. So that's what it looks like without the lines. Let's see here. Bring back the inks. Turn the light out. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Let's see what we can do else with it here. Okay, now let's turn that back off. Cool, cool. Alright, so I will end the show there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to uh, leave in the comments if you have any questions about what I'm doing, all that fun stuff. If you have a comic you think I should know about, please let me know. And this is Gary Brantner signing out. Bye.